The Realme X2 uses a Snapdragon 730G, a processor aimed squarely at the premium uh, mainstream market. The question is, can it take on a flagship device like the uh, Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820? Well, let's find out. Okay, so we have the Realme X2 with the Snapdragon 730G on the left-hand side. We have the Samsung Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820 on the right-hand side. Now, of course, the S10e is a flagship device. It's got a flagship processor from Samsung in the Exynos 9820. And the Snapdragon 730G is one tier lower, we could say, compared to the Snapdragon 800 series, one tier lower, and that's in the Realme X2. And the question is, what is the gap between kind of the a 700 series, a good 700 series processor and a flagship processor from Samsung. And as I'm saying that, already the Exynos 9820 in the Galaxy S10e is into the 16 thread test. So clearly a lead here. Now we have seen in the past over uh, recent videos that sometimes Snapdragon processors are able to catch up when it comes to the GPU because maybe the Mali GPU isn't quite up to the work when it comes comparing to the Adreno GPU. But of course now we've got the 730G a different GPU, not an 800 series GPU. In fact, this is the Adreno 618, but it is the G. So will that G for graphics, for gaming, make any difference? Now, both of them are into the uh, mix CPU, GPU, 19 frames a second. We're seeing on the right-hand side there as the Galaxy S10 is now going into the Unity test. On the left-hand side, the Realme X2 is in the uh, infinite scrolling list. Will the Realme X2 be able to catch up when it gets into Unity test? That's really the question. Will the Mali have slowed down so much we really will have to see it's gonna be quite interesting 21 frames a second that's interesting 21 frames a second for the real me x2 on the left hand side this could bode well for the snapdragon when it comes to 3d graphics 2d graphics were better let's see definitely looking a bit smoother there on the left hand side compared to a bit of jerkiness there on the right hand side we'll have to see as we go through the test whether it's going to be able to catch up and overtake Clearly, it was behind up until now as it's coming down to the water. But already, the Galaxy S10e is coming to the end, and it's come to the end of that test. It's now going to the Unreal test, while the uh, Realme X2 is still going through the UT test. It's now come to the end. It's going to start up the uh, Unreal test. Now, there really is the question, who can get to the end of this path first? Which device is going to be able to fly its way through this forest? through this uh, flyover that we've created and get there first. Now I can see that actually the S10e is doing quite well. It's actually doing quite well and quite smooth through this flyover. I actually think it may get to the end first. We're gonna have to wait and see. Yes, there it is. It's already done it. Two minutes, 28.2. Now the Realme X2 with the Snapdragon 730G is still going on. It's gonna get to the end of the path any moment now, but what's gonna be the difference? How many seconds difference are gonna be? There we go. Two minutes, 39.1. Okay, let's break down the scores and see what happened. So as we saw, the Galaxy uh, S10e came in first, 2 minutes 28.2, and then almost 11 seconds later, the Realme X2 with 2 minutes 39.1. When we look at the CPU time, 1 minute 4.8 compared to 47.8, so a good showing there by the Galaxy uh, S10e. When we get to the mix, CPU, GPU, 30.1 seconds compared to 25.8. Again, another good win by the Galaxy S10e. Then when we get to the GPU, so that's the Unity test and the Unreal test, a actual win there by the Realme X2, 1 minute 4.1 compared to 1 minute 14.5. However, it wasn't enough to claw back the lead. So overall, the Galaxy S10e was the winner with 2 minutes 28.2. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test Geo. Really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, what about giving it a thumbs up? And if you really like these type of videos, why not stick around and subscribe to the channel and be part of the community? Okay, that's it.